Welcome everyone to this real life Bible study demonstration. So now we're going to apply everything that we have learned so far and we're going to dig into scripture using the tools that we've covered. Good, yes. And uh, you know, Mark, you've caught me right in the middle of a study. Oh, did I? <laughs> you did. You did. Okay. I'm here in the book of John. All right. And we happen to have a commentary of John and a handbook. <laughs> right. So we've got a little bit of, of uh, almost everything. Yeah. And so with that in mind, um, I am in, uh, I'm in the book of John, chapter 4, and I am in this section here, uh, verse 10. All right. Okay. So here in verse 10, it says, Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's examine this passage. Let's look, we have a notepad. We're ready to write. Yep. Um, so what would be some, some key words or phrases in this verse uh, gift of god seems fairly uh prominent there okay so we want to look into that and i think living water would be something else for sure right so we have a, a note we'll make some notes for their key words gift of god living water we'll make sure to to check on those. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm here in a verse, uh, I'm sorry, but chapter four, and this is uh, uh, typically called the, uh, you know, Jesus's encounter with the woman at the well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I, have a, I have a handbook to the Bible handy, right? And we talked about this in, a, in another uh, episode, right? And look here. All right. Yeah. So we have we have uh, some ladies at a well mm -hmm. in Samaria, and it says here that Jesus chooses the short route from Jerusalem to Galilee, which takes him through Samaria, normally avoided by the Jews. For over 700 years of religious and racial prejudice separated the Jews from the Samaritan. Hmm. Okay. So that gives us some, some context, yes. uh, some historical context of this interaction. Right. They normally would not have passed through this area, but Jesus, Jesus decided that he would. Add to this Jewish prayer, blessed art thou, O Lord, who has not made me a woman. And one can understand the Samaritan woman's surprise when Jesus talks to her. So it was not, I get, I'm, what I'm taking from this is that it was not normal mm -hmm. for a Jewish man to stop and have a conversation with a Samaritan woman. Okay, so right. I can I can make a note of that in maybe my, my study. Yeah. Um, and that will help me understand why John is telling us the story. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. So, um, tired and thirsty though, uh, as he is, he cannot ignore, he can never ignore human needs. Hmm. And as the conversation develops, he makes it clear to the woman that the woman's need is spiritual rather than physical. Ah. So um, we find that that uh, that Jesus quickly takes this opportunity of, of wanting you know a drink of water and turns it into an opportunity to witness of himself to that woman. Definitely. Right. And so to understand what he's saying about himself, we could do a word study of these two phrases he used. Yes. Gift of God and living water. Right. So what should we use to, to do a word study of those? Well, I would probably go to a, uh, a Thompson Chain reference. Okay. Bible, right? And look up the word gift, mm. right? So gift of God and, and see if it's, uh, see if I can find it back here. See if I can find it inside here. We got Gibeon, Gideon, Gilead, Gilead. It, it doesn't look like gift of God is going to be found 
inside the Thompson chain reference. Okay. Okay. So I would probably just set that guy aside. Although, if I go to the same location, John 4, there might be something else. Verse, give me a drink. If you knew the gift of God, God's gift, Romans 15, I'm sorry, Romans 5, 15. Mm. So if I go here to Romans chapter 5, verse 15. To help us understand what, what Jesus is talking what about. What Jesus is talking about, yes, sir. Yep. So this is using scripture to interpret scripture. Did I say it was? 515. So 515 is down here. But the free gift is not like the transgression, for if by the trans by the transgression of one many died, much more did the grace of God and the gift by the grace of the one man Jesus Christ abound to many. So what it's saying is that Jesus is the gift of God. That's right. To men. And we can even take that one step further and maybe look at what this says. Oops, sorry, let me get down the screen. Yep. What does, uh, what's the reference for Romans 5, 15 for God's gift again? We go to 6, 23. So yes. I can dive more and see Romans 6, 23. For the wages, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So that would match up with what you said. Yes. Eternal life through Jesus Christ. Right. So now when I apply that, so now I go back to my verse. In verse 10. Mm -hmm. If you knew the gift of God and who it was that says to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him, he would have given you and he would have given you living water. So if she had known the gift of God, mm -hmm. which we just discovered is eternal life in Jesus Christ. Yes. Then if she'd known that, then she would have asked of him and he would give her living water. So this living water, what is that? Because what is living water? Mark. So then that probably would match up with the gift. Yes. So the gift of God is the living water. And if the gift is eternal life, then this living water is eternal life. Maybe. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> let's find out. Yeah, let's so, find out. Yeah. So if we go, if we, uh, if we come back here, let's just uh, give it a, a, a glance at least to see if um, there's some insights here for us. Living water. He would have given you living water. Living water is again found, whoop, I'm out of frame. So, is again found in chapter seven, verse 38. So let's see what he has to say there. Chapter seven, verse 38. It says, Mind frame. Just go down. Pull that down. down. Okay. He who believes in me, as the scripture said, from his innermost being, from his innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Mm -hmm. And then living water can be found in Revelation chapter 7, 17. So let me just quickly roll over there. I mean, yep. And we'll go, but yeah, we'll, we'll check back too. And we'll go back to John after Revelation. Yes. Sure. Yes. Seven seventeen. Ah, okay. It says here. Oh, Mind frame. There we go. All right. Here's my finger. There it is. Yep. For the Lamb is in the center of the throne; shall be their shepherd. Excuse me, for the Lamb in the center of the throne shall be their shepherd, and shall guide them to springs of the living of the water of life. Let me let me back up. 
and shall guide them to springs of the water of life, and God shall wipe every tear from their eyes. Mm -hmm. So, springs of water of life. Hmm. So there's right. something about these living water gives life. Right. And maybe we'll back up, if you don't, we can go back, if you don't mind, to John sure. chapter 7. Let's just look at what verse 38 says. Right after Jesus says, whoever believes in him will have living water flowing out of him. Verse 39 says, But this he spoke of the Spirit, whom those who believe in him were yet to receive. The Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. So there's something here about life, eternal life, the Holy Spirit. Yes. That's kind of coming together. So we're starting to get an idea. We are. Of right. what the living water is. Yep. Yep. So if we just check one more time again and just confirm that we're on the right track. If you knew the gift of God and who it was who says to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Mm -hmm. So now within the context of what we've just read, the gift of God is eternal life mm -hmm. in Jesus. And this living water is the Holy Spirit. Mm. Here we go. The Holy Spirit of God, right? Absolutely. It, 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 does that? Yeah, that, that matches up with what the rest of John's Gospel says. Um, the, what the whole Bible says. Yeah. So now let's let's check what we read with the commentary. So okay. let's see what he has to say. And we're not going to read, don't worry, we won't read all of this. Okay. So let's look at here in verse, over here seems to talk about what this water is. Oh, here it is. So, fun enough, it's highlighted. He says this in this commentary. In this chapter, the water, the living water, is the satisfying eternal life mediated by the Spirit yeah. that only Jesus, the Messiah and Savior of the world, can provide. So it looks like we're right on track. Yeah. So the water, the living water, is the eternal life, which is given to us by the Spirit, yep. and the Spirit's given to us by Jesus. Amen. So it looks like we're right on track with that. Yes. Awesome. So now imagine, everybody, it, it, and I know you've had to be patient with us here, but imagine that you just only read that. Mm. You would probably leave that scratching your head a little <laughs> right, bit, right? right. Yep. You, 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 you know, you'd be like, well, okay, that's great, and you would move on, right? But you wouldn't understand what he was saying. Mm. Quite, as, quite as good mm -hmm. as what we've just brought out in less than five times. 10 minutes right, right um, of, of the insights here that are available to us if we've got some of these tools in our hands right? absolutely so we just we just did a a biblical study of what living water is in scripture according to John's gospel we looked at Romans and the gift of God and the gift of God absolutely yeah uh, we looked at revelation so we use scripture to interpret scripture first yes then we checked with the commentary and look at that i mean he says it more succinctly than i did but the same thing yeah so and now this is i can apply this properly to my life yeah otherwise i'm just guessing what right. living water is right and i it won't affect me i won't right. be changed by it right right so so we, we just wanted to bring these to you um, to give you a sense of what how to use, because we've spent a lot of time talking about Bible study resources, mm -hmm. right, and what's available for everybody. Um, we wanted to show you how that would actually be used, mm -hmm. right, in your study. And, and honestly, uh, we did not pre-plan this. No, <laughs> we did <right>? not. <laughs> we just, we just yeah. picked a scripture and dove right in and look at look at the rich uh, 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 word that, that Jesus has now given to us. Absolutely. About the gift of God. And now we see the significance of, of what it was, you know, wh why that that interaction with that with that uh, woman at the well mm -hmm. was so powerful. Mm -hmm. Right? For sure. Well, Scott, I, I learned something new in this study. I've been blessed by, the, by this study, and I, I hope that uh, those anyone watching this video was blessed by this, sees yeah. um, that it takes work, takes effort. A little bit. But it's not, you know, it's not 
rocket science by any means. No. We're just no. simply letting scripture interpret scripture. Um, we are looking at resources which give us background and right. also we have an expert alongside to help us understand what we're reading. Let me let me just say and don't let anybody ever tell you that the scriptures are too hard for you to understand. Absolutely. Ever. Right. Right? Yep. We have got so many resources available to us at our fingertips that it 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 is it is I'm not going to say it's easy, but it's certainly uh, able. We are able to yeah. to interpret what God is saying to us mm -hmm. in His in His Scriptures, and you know, faithful servants of God have, have put together these other resources for our use and our studies, and uh, uh, they're but they're only as good as us using them, mm. right? Mm, absolutely. So we should we should utilize them. They're they're available. Yes, we have the opportunity. Yes. So let's. Opportunity given, let's take the opportunity. Amen. All right. Well, we hope that this has blessed you. We hope that, hey, after this video, pick your Bible up, pick your commentary up, your, your, your references, and, and study God's Word. Amen. God bless you. Bye now.